Foldable devices are not yet mainstream due to the fact that they are very expensive to own at the moment. With Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G, Samsung has been one phone maker who has been committed to delivering foldable devices with major improvements. Z Fold 2 is one of their exciting products like their groundbreaking Note series. Fold is not for everyone. I will say that right away. I say that because it is very expensive at $2,000. Samsung has come a long way from the first edition of the phone which had plenty of problems. It looks like with Fold 2, Samsung has surely addressed a lot of those problems and made it a bit more desirable than the first one. Some major updates are the flimsy plastic screen has a glass coating. It's called the ultra thin glass technology. Now it feels like you're actually touching the glass. The hinge that decides the folding actions has got a massive improvement. It's very sturdy and firm compared to its predecessor. The new hint system is not only going to let you go hands-free, but also lets you lock the screen at a variety of angles. Its flex mode lets you fold Galaxy Z Fold 2 at any angle and hold it any way you like, or simply fold it to use flex view on the main screen and make it a hands-free device for your video calls with your Skype or Google Duo. Samsung has always been great with displays. Fold 2 has two displays and they are amazing. There is no question there. The original Fold had a smaller outer display which looked like an afterthought half big screen at 4.5 inch. You couldn't do much there. It was neither a phone or a tablet that you could really use. At 6.2 inches, a Fold 2's outer display is large enough to do most of your smartphone operations. You will unfold the device only when it is really required. All other operations can be completed in a folded state using the outer display with one hand. The inside display has a huge bump too over the last version. It's bigger 7.6 inch screen from last year's 7.2 inch screen. It has received an ultra thin glass layer with a refresh rate of 120Hz. The selfie camera, you remember that notch? That has been reduced to a small punch hole right now on the Fold 2. It's a great relief. I guess the improved hinge, the upgraded displays are definitely some major upgrades for a second generation device. Coming to the processor and camera, the Fold 2 runs on the Snapdragon 865 processor, the most powerful mobile chip right now. As the name suggests, it's a 5G phone, so it's next generation proof. 12 GB RAM to support it can handle any apps you throw at it. All your apps will be in the memory for easy access and you will not have to keep loading them every time. It has a triple camera array consisting an all 12 megapixel sensors with the standard wide ultra wide telephoto arrangement. I wouldn't say they are the best but they are good. The best camera set is with Samsung's own Note 20 Ultra. Not sure why Samsung decided not to use the same sensors as in Note 20 Ultra. 
It may be that those sensors are only going to add to the existing bulk of Fold 2. Yeah, you can see that when you fold it, it's a bit bulkier. But this doesn't mean that these sensors are bad. They are really great shooters, which can produce some great pictures and videos. Now with more flexible hinge system, you have more ways to take pictures and videos. Now you can keep it on a flat surface, take pictures or videos without the support of a tripod. Galaxy Fold 2 is expected to be a smartphone and a productivity machine. I would say this is a great smartphone, but I wouldn't agree on the productivity part. I felt it need much more improvement to become a productivity machine. At the moment, I would say Surface Duo definitely works well in terms of productivity with their unique design of dual display. Fold 2 has something called app pairing. You can actually pair two apps and launch them at the same time. It also lets you move contents between one app to the other. In my experience, it did work okay, but not a great user experience. It's good for entertainment consumption. You can watch Netflix or YouTube, but full screen viewing experience is a bit odd considering its aspect ratio. It will add two giant bars at the top and the bottom of the screen. It needs a bit more improvement for sure. It doesn't really stop you from consuming great entertainment. It also is very good to play games. With 120Hz refresh rate, games definitely work so well with this device. With the great sounding stereo speakers, this is an absolute blast. It has a 4500 mAh battery. So far it's been great. During my time with Fold 2 over the last few days, the intelligent adaptive display detects what you're doing and shifts the refresh rate. So you get the ideal view and save on battery. It lasted almost 11 to 12 hours of my day before I had to plug it in. It's still a good battery life for a device with two displays to power. Samsung has finally delivered the product that people would want to spend their money on even if it is on the higher side. Yes, it may not be for everyone at $2,000 a piece. This phone tablet is a unique device that is priced right at its high end. That's my thought. If you have the buying power, this phone is worth the dollars you will spend. It's a luxury item for those who can spend that kind of money, at least for now. Foldable devices will be the future of mobile revolution. But maybe it will take a while, maybe a few iterations before it really becomes mainstream and affordable for masses until then if you can afford one don't hesitate get one and enjoy this great device thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and share